Hello Libra and welcome to your reading. Libra, we're going to see what messages are coming up for you. As usual, I always want to remind you that these readings are generalized. Take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't, because that will resonate with someone else who is watching this reading. Libra, I also want to let you know that I have started a new channel all to do with love, relationships and matters of the heart. So if you want to see more of my work, I will link that channel in the description box below. So let's have a look to see what is going on with our tarot cards. I'll probably get you some uh, monology cards as well. Let's get some water here. Hang on. All right. So Libra, uh, remember to have a look at your sun sign, moon sign, ascendant sign, because it all helps to get a big picture of what is happening here. So, all right. Okay, I can see that we have some important messages that are here for you. And the first message that we have for you is starting off with a question for you, Libra. And that question for you is, what do you need to release? I feel that in your heart, in your soul, in your mind, you already know that something needs to go. And so this card is saying to you that that thing that you know deep down in your heart that it needs to go, it needs to exit your life. It is time for you now to start taking the actions that you need to take to help this thing release, go and get out of your life. So that is something that is important that is coming up because I feel that you already know what this is. And for some reason, there is an energy here of sort of arming and arming. Mm, I'm not so sure. One minute, you're really 100% sure that this situation, whatever is happening is to go. Then the next minute, it's like, oh, I'm not sure. Maybe we can work things out. So this card that is coming in next is saying that nothing will come out of this situation because whatever it is that you need to release like I said in your mind in your in your heart I feel that you've already made up your mind but then when it is time to actually come and let this situation go let this person go let whatever it is that needs to go you start thinking you start getting all in your emotions and you start thinking oh maybe second chance third chance a hundred chance so this card is saying hey Nothing is going to come out of this situation of whatever it is that you need to release and go. So again, it is a message here that is bringing in this energy of balance because the next card that we have is saying balance, spirituality and practicality. So you could be dealing with the Pisces and there is an energy where something is just not quite balanced. Sometimes there could be too much in like thinking wise, sometimes there is a feeling that you're too much in your feelings, then it's too much in your in your in your mental, in your mind, and then it's just like that pendulum that is going back and forwards. So now it is time to balance your spiritual body, your mental body, your all your different bodies. It is time to bring them together. Because when you do that, it is then that time when you can sit with yourself and say, Hey, what needs to go? What do I need to surrender? What do I need to release without being emotionally triggered? And then do what you need to do. Because there is an energy here that we have where you are in that energy where maybe your your safety, and not even your, staf your safety, it's more like a, what you call it, your stability. You're thinking a lot about your stability and there is a feeling that this situation that needs to go, that needs to be released, released it is to do with your stability maybe your home maybe your work there is just something that is coming in to do with your root chakra and your root chakra is all to do about flight or fight type of situation and sometimes this situation is stable and you're staying and then sometimes this situation is bringing volatility is volatile and you're wanting to go and again there is that situation where you are feeling like you're not finding your center so whatever needs to release and exit your life, it is time to do so, so that you can ground that first chakra, that root chakra of yours. There is something that is overstimulating your root chakra and causing you to feel out of balance. So it is time to start meditating, to start rejuvenating, to just rest, so that you can really feel this situation through. Feel what is the right thing for you to do. This is you working with your intuition by really settling down in that energy of, all right, I am going to allow myself to tap in 
to my intuition, to my gut instinct and to see what is the right thing for me to do. And by doing so, you're going to see that by resting, by rejuvenating, it will be then a lot easier to ground yourself and then to connect with your intuition so that you can know what it is the right thing for you to do next because there is this energy where you are thinking where you are analyzing the situation we have the thinking woman card and i like the next tarot cards that are coming up after this card because this card is embodying the two cards that are coming up so we see you here in this energy of thinking analyzing researching maybe and really being in this energy of being logical about what is the right thing for you to do next. So the thinking card is here really encouraging you that thinking, analyzing, being logical, researching, all that it is all good. But at some point, you have to get to that point where you're making the decisions that you need to make. You can't get stuck on just the analyzing, on the research. At some point, it is time to call the shots. Okay, so our next cards that are coming up is our King of Wands. The King of Wands is bringing in the energy of fire, that masculine, that divine masculine energy, all to do with that fire, that drive. And I love the next card because not only are you using that divine masculine energy, you are also utilizing the divine feminine energy and you are allowing these two energies to work together in a balanced way. I love these two cards together because it is all about the fire. The fire is here, the drive is here, the passion is here and it is balanced. Why do I say balanced? Because sometimes when we're in this energy of fire, drive, pushing, we get to that point where we are hustling, 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 and then we can start feeling bent out after a while. But with the king, with the queen of wands here and the king of wands here together, this is you seeing yourself balanced. You are here creating. You are here feeling really passionate about what you're doing. And together, this energy is not the type of energy that can burn itself out. This energy flows together really well. And this is what you're encouraged to do, to, de to deploy the energy of the king of wands standing in your power and to also deploy the energy of the queen of wands where you are using your intuition and tapping in to that divine feminine energy and together you are feeling like you are understanding your situation and how to create that win win situation you're not being too masculine and pushing and you're not being too feminine and not stepping up when it's time to step up these are beautiful energies that are here for you libra because i feel that these energies again are to do with bringing stability around your money because we have the four of pentacles so the four of pentacles is that energy that is bringing in stability around your money. But stability sometimes can start end up bringing an energy of being boxed in. So the four of pentacles is saying, yes, creating stability for yourself through that passion, through that fire that is here. This is awesome. But at the same time, don't become too much of, I don't want to spend my money. I'm going to keep everything that I'm getting because why? Because there is this energy around your root chakra, that fight or flight type of energy that is here. So with the four of pentacles, this card is saying, awesome, you have really been focused on working, on creating that stability around your home, around your family. But at the same time, do not let your root chakra make you not want to open up and spend your money because maybe you are currently worried about what is going on on the international stage on the world stage because we have seen what happened in 2020 and right now you could just be feeling like i don't have enough for the future i want to bring an energy of protection around my money around the things that make me feel safe there is a feeling here that your money is feeling like it's under threat. So maybe it could be if we put it in a logical way, you are feeling like, you know, my job, I don't know how long my company can last. I don't know how it can keep on going. So I'm going to start saving. I'm going to bring in this energy of stability around my money 
because you're feeling like you don't have stability because your root chakra is being too overactive, right? So at the same time, the divine is saying that by holding on to your money too much, you're not dealing with this problem. Just because you now have the money, this is not solved. So again, you can bring in this energy of stability around that root chakra by grounding yourself, by looking at the situation in that logical type of way. So you have created the money and now what is the best thing to do to ensure that your money can bring the stability that you need for your future? So we're seeing you here researching. We're seeing you maybe going back to school, learning new skills, whatever it is that you're doing, there is a lot that is going on to bring in the stability that is really important for you. So again, the message here, Libra, is to remain balanced. You are the sign of balance after all. So how can you remain balanced, but at the same time being proactive about bringing the stability that you need, about releasing and letting go, of whatever it is that you need to release and let go. So there's a lot of energy that is here, but I feel that you're going to be able to really work through whatever it is that you need to work through because we have these two wonderful cards that are here of the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. So whatever it is that is happening, you are still feeling really passionate about the future. The future is bright. You're not in that energy of seeing a future as being not bright for you. But at the same time, you are looking at your situation and saying, how can I bring stability around my money? And I see that you're going to be really be here being focused on that. And that is really good. So Libra, this is the reading that I have for you. Please stay balanced. Whatever decisions you're making, remain balanced because by doing so, this is how you're going to remain sane. Otherwise, you could start really losing your mind if you start overthinking things. If you start being in that energy of not balancing your root chakra. So there is that warning that is here. But nonetheless, the energy that is on the cards, they are good. Whatever is happening, stay focused, stay balanced. And this is the reading that I have for you. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll see you soon. It's a goodbye.